coming up in this video. These aren't your everyday scary videos. These are advanced scary videos. Here are the top 30 scary videos that are terrifyingly creepy. Number 30, Night Thief. What would you do if you kept finding food disappearing from your fridge at night? That's what kept happening to old fogey John. And when he set up a security camera, he was shocked at what he found. Trending in the Brazilian YouTube community via the YouTube channel EXTV, this video's original source is Old Fogey John on both YouTube and TikTok. Let's take a look at the footage. This home invader does not look human, and even the cat to the right recognizes that. First, the creature pokes its head through the window and appears as though it might attempt to climb in. Then it slinks back out for unknown reasons. Did this creature know it was on camera? Its red, bulging veins, dark, otherworldly skin, and glowing eyes makes me think it's not of this world. But is it a demon? I can't answer definitively, as I assumed their only appetite was for human souls. Number 29, Dog Sees Ghost. We all know dogs can see ghosts, and often they're trying to protect us humans from them. Redditor Spectre Specs Dog did that just one morning. Here's the pup in action. The Redditor notes that the dog kept moving back and forth like he was watching something across the room. The Redditor explains in the comments that they lived here for about a year at this point, and the dog hadn't behaved this way either before or after. They also never had a rodent or bug infestation while there. While I can't say this footage should be taken as foolproof evidence that a ghost is adrift, I tend to believe that animals sense things that we don't, so I'd definitely be suspicious after witnessing this. Number 28, Dangerous Demon. While visiting an abandoned movie theater, YouTube team Extinct File comes across a dangerous demon. First, they see its mark. Then, as they move into the wider room, they encounter it. The figure has vanished, but was it ever really there? Let's see that again. You can see something dark peeking out from one of the back rows, but it's hard to tell what it is. If it's human, it's ducking down, and you can only see the very top of its head. Did you see it? I'm not sure if it was a person, but it was there. And it disappeared. What do you think it could be? Number 27, Shadow Figure. This place is 100% haunted. YouTuber Tomcat0031 captured a shadow figure streaking past the door on a floor that was empty at the time. You need no instruction on where to look. This one is hard to miss. Right, this is filming now. Right, both me and Joe seen a shadow go across this room here. Bob! <laughs> Somebody's in there. 
Mate, I'll tell you what, you're doing a good job. The way it moves doesn't seem natural, and you don't hear footsteps. It's almost like it's gliding past. Bob. <laughs> Somebody's in there. Mate, I'll tell you what, you're doing a good job. Notice that you see the darkness move across the crack to the left of the door, and then you see a larger black darkness to the right of the doorway. The former looks more solid to me, which suggests that it's a solid figure, and the latter looks like a shadow being cast by that figure. Lastly, in the crack to the left, you see a figure move again in the other direction. This makes me think that whatever is there made a small circle around the room, and the way the light falls casts a shadow on the far right-hand wall for a moment, but whether whatever is there is paranormal or not is the real question. Number 26, The Church. This church is apparently haunted. YouTube team Signs and Signals return to an abandoned church that's haunted them since one of their first paranormal investigations. First, they head to the cemetery to recall where they saw this. And yep, right over there. Went straight to that bush. It looks like an extra large bat maybe a vampire mid-transformation. As they're checking around the bush, they hear something come from the church. Well, people were saying it was going in the bush. We checked it plenty of times. Dale? That was... You know what that means. 100% in the church. They approach and peer in through a window. I swear door. I heard the door, the door. Yeah, I swear to God, I just heard the door do something like something knocked on the door. Something is in there, but they have yet to see it. When they near the door, they find it open. You better come on around from there. Come on. And Once inside, the creepy feeling escalates. I already feel like I'm like being stared at everywhere I look. Where, how long? As long as it takes. As Dale is talking about the last experience he had here, a light behind him flickers. I start feeling all weird and like hot and everything and start getting oh, yeah. mad and stuff. But behind you, Dale, behind you. Light, 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 light. It's not the same one. Is this real? It's not that light. It, it was, it's not the same one. When they approach the spirit, it makes its presence known. You gonna knock a book over? Did you hear that? I thought that was you. No. Are you serious? Yeah. They investigate further, then they capture this. Oh my Dale. Please tell me you got that. Right? I, did, I did. You got? Do you got that? I did. I did. There's something in this church, and they don't want this paranormal team trespassing. Not at all. Freaking cool and pretty clear, and it's so. Oh my! <laughs> oh my! <laughs> Dale. See. I, I told you. It's the piano. It's the piano, dude. Oh my! <laughs> in my opinion, it's time for them to leave this place, especially after they managed to photograph this. That terrifying shadow sends the coldest of chills down my spine. Without a doubt, this place appears haunted to me. Number 25, Terrifying Find. YouTuber Dennis of Dark Life came across this terrifying find in the forest, and my guess is that it did not want to be found. After hearing a sound, he turns down his light so as not to scare the creature off. <laughs> But in the darkness lies an evil that you must see to believe. Ah! 
What was that horrifying thing? Here it is again, slower this time. I have no idea what that is, but it looks like it's feasting on something, and its glowing eyes and terrifying screech are something that will stay with me when I turn out the lights. Number 24. Unidentified Flying Object Sighting Is this unidentified flying object real or fake? YouTuber YB Normal shares this video of a daytime sighting in an unknown location. This man spotted the unidentified flying object on the tree line and got his camera out to capture it. It disappears for a while behind some trees before making a resurgence. Just look at those movements. This, I mean, it just doesn't look like a conventional craft to me. This is crazy. It wobbles from one side to the other. A closer slow motion view captures this movement more precisely. A couple of things gives this away a CGI for me. The absolutely motionless steady cam. when at the beginning the cameraman sounds out of breath from having rushed out to retrieve his camera, so he would assumingly be holding it by hand. Okay. And a second issue is the sound of a breeze while the trees are completely stationary. This, uh, I don't know what it is. I thought it was a plane at first, maybe a helicopter. I've been watching this thing hover. Still, a good effort overall. What do you think is going on here? Number 23, Work Ghost. This ghost at YouTuber Miss Pink Sweets 4201's workplace has her on edge. She captured video proof that some of her co workers aren't exactly alive, and they may even be pure evil. Watch the left hand corner of the top right hand capture. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. A ghostly figure appears, its face melting into view. Oh my God. It disappears moments later. Is this a ghost? I think it could be some shift in the light, but it sure looks like a demon to me. Number 22. Drawer Opening This Redditor and their sister have experienced some paranormal happenings in their home. This is the first activity they've ever caught on video. Keep an eye on the drawer in the corner. The drawer slowly but surely opens, leaving the pair to wonder what this ghost is looking for. Redditors have some ideas. A number of Redditors suggest that it could be opening due to subtle vibration, or the cabinet not being installed level leading to imbalance. Unless there's further evidence of paranormal activity, I think this may be the case in this instance, but if I'm being honest, I'd rather it be a ghost looking for a potato peeler. Number 21, The Morgue. While visiting the morgue of this abandoned hospital, YouTubers The Fam and Omar Gosh TV start to feel very cold. Their search begins outside, where James shares some of the horrifying history of this place. Looked up some pictures of this place, and there used to be about 2,000 crosses right here. Um, so they actually buried the dead bodies right here. And I'm a little worried because it looks like they were dug up or something. I don't know exactly what happened. But... As they continue inside, he's shocked that he barely missed stepping to his demise. Oh, that's electrical panels. Okay. What? Oh, I didn't even see that. What the? You just... Whoa! How did it... Alright, look. New rule. You have to stand right by my side, okay? 
They then hear something creepy. Well, I didn't hear what they did. The next noise is undeniable. I don't know. I don't know, dude. Who's in the finale? I can't say for sure, but after hearing that, I'd surmise that there's something very much alive in this abandoned morgue. Number 20. What are these? TikToker Google the Curious is wondering what they found at these precise coordinates. The camera zooms in upon a snowscape in Antarctica. As it zeroes in, you can see multiple buildings, some equidistant from each other. They kind of look like stitches in the earth from so far away. What are these mysterious buildings? My first guess would be research stations, but why so many? And why arranged in this strange pattern? TikTokers have other ideas. I'm going to stick with research stations on this one, but they definitely look creepy from this vantage point. Number 19. Lizzie Borden House If you don't know the name, Lizzie Borden was found guilty of ending the lives of her father and stepmother in 1892 with an axe. YouTube channel Glam and Gore stayed overnight in the notorious Lizzie Borden House in Fall River, Massachusetts, and they didn't get much sleep. Are you here? Are we alone? According to the team, Lizzie Borden is said to have bought cyanide from a pharmacy the day before the incident, allegedly to poison their live-in maid Bridget, who did end up sick that morning. Later, the lights start strobing out. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what is it just dying? They think the bulb is just done and then it goes completely dark. Dark in there. Yes. Oh, <laughs> oh god. That scared me so much. Oh my god. It's just a dead bat. Through the spirit box, they ask Abby's spirit who took her life. Is it John who killed you? Ooh, ooh, ooh. That one gave me the chills. I don't know why. This is the spirit box's audio played back slowly. It does sound like it was them to me. Not getting a clear answer, they ask Gabby again. Did John Morse kill you? Who's the biggest threat? Yeah, Maybe that's what I heard one. too. What the f oh, oh, oh god, I'm getting chills all over my body. And then one more time. Abby, did John kill you? What did you hear? It was John. <laughs> Did it say it was John? Yes. <laughs> Can you play? Although I wasn't sure what the spirit said, after a second listen. It does sound like it was John. This is like God. <gasps> what did it say? What did it what say? The f it said it was John. No, it didn't. No, it didn't. This is like God. This is like God. <gasps> <gasps> Do you no, hear no, that? No, 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 no. 
So was it John who took Abby's life after all? Was Lizzie bored and framed for what happened? I think the true answer to this mystery was buried with the entire Borden family. Number 18. Old Hotel Corridor While filming some footage in an old hotel corridor for a project, Redditor I Am Not The Problem captured something unexpected. Look for the pale blobby thing floating in the middle of the hallway. Did you see it? The Redditor says it's not a bug, and they weren't wearing any reflective jewelry. Still, Redditors have some plausible theories. The more I watch the clip, the more I logic my way toward the mere hypothesis. Number 17. Fairfield County Infirmary YouTuber Amy Script and her team experienced the horrors of the Fairfield County Infirmary in this creepy investigation. Upon first entering, they hear an unsettling sound. Did you just make a noise or something? No. I thought I heard something. They enter the men's wing of the infirmary when an EVP sends this message. My hair or his hair? You can play with it, either one of the hairs. <laughs> I don't know if people get their hair touched in here, but... They then try to goad the spirits into opening the prison door. That was crazy already. <laughs> that was such a good walkthrough. Yeah, and we've only covered like half this place, guys. Like, it is massive. That's not even, yeah, that's not even the full walkthrough. After this, they head to the morgue where they find a creepy coffin. Yep, that is an old coffin. So this must be where they have funerals. Oh, that is so creepy. A spirit speaks Jared's name. As Jared is showing viewers a sink in another room, he senses something behind him. But apparently it's also where they cleaned their food. <laughs> What's that? Oh It seems to me that Jared is just as freaked out by bats as he is by ghosts. And after that freaky jump scare, I certainly don't blame him. Number 16. Haunted Titanic. Did spirits latch onto the relics housed in this Titanic replica in Branson, Missouri? YouTuber The Omar Gosh Vlogs and his team explore the Titanic Museum in this mysterious video. Each of the museum goers is given a passport, like their passengers themselves on the Titanic. George Wright, and you get to kind of hold on to one of these people, like they actually make you feel like you're a passenger yourself. They use the spirit box in one of the rooms to see if any of the Titanic's victims linger. Are there any spirits in this room with us? I heard tape like three times. What's your name? They seem to get multiple responses, and as they continue, they get many more. Are there any spirits here that were talking to me the first time at the other exhibit? Wait, 
Although I didn't see any paranormal activity throughout the exhibit, these legit responses to Omar's questions makes me think that there's really something to this place fitted with a replica grand staircase. It also just seems like an exhibit I'd want to visit and explore myself. Number 15. Footsteps. The scariest things are unseen. Redditor Fire from Thaumaturgy shares this video of footsteps in a stairwell, only there's no one there. The footsteps seem to be far away at first, but then come all too close, but some redditors think it's a hoax. While I also agree that the footsteps sound like they're coming from above and are running in place, this could still be without the Redditor's knowledge or collaboration, which is seriously creepy. In fact, the Redditor claims he was walking down 18 flights of stairs from the top and didn't hear anyone entering the stairwell behind him. They also say they felt a gust of cold air and have a history of encounters with paranormal activity, all of which makes me lean towards this video being legitimate. What do you think? Number 14. Mount Morris Mystery House Disembodied voices and shadow figures plague the Mount Morris Mystery House, and YouTube team Spirit Walk Paranormal are here to investigate. The first whispers come as one of the team leaves this room. Although I don't necessarily hear what the team has heard, there is a distinct voice there. Shortly after, as the steady cam sits there, a strange noise is heard that sounds almost mechanical to me. Next is this unexplained tapping. followed by this singular tap. Later, as one of the crew is touring the house, he hears this mysterious knocking. He continues the search, which turns up this disembodied voice. So I'm gonna close the door. That could just be the sound of the door closing, although it does sound suspiciously like words. Another strange sound is followed by a disembodied voice. We can... And shortly after, another is heard. There's, there's some toys. Are these many bodiless voices coming from the beyond? I think that may be the case, because to me, the whispers sound not of this world. Number 13. Haunted Dorm Korean YouTube channel Phantom Hearts Fox and his team are exploring a haunted dormitory in this scary video. In one hallway, he gets an active reading on his K2 meter. <laughs> As they continue through the dormitory, they get another active reading on their EMF meter. In another room, something unseen makes a sound to their right. <laughs> <laughs> Did a spirit just brush past him? 
It's difficult to say, but the crew does seem to me to be feeling some bad energy in this dorm. If I were them, I'd trust my gut. Number 12. Door closed. Did YouTuber Axis 2527 just experience genuine poltergeist activity? This is what he captured while home alone. Okay, this is Julian documenting something that's happened today. I've just came downstairs from studying and drawing all day. No one else has been home, and I just decided to go down and play Zelda in my basement because that's where my Wii is. After heading downstairs, he sees this. Watch the stool. Oh my. That chair just moved. I'm documenting this. He rushes upstairs, and that's when he's shut in. I, I just know I'm going upstairs. He approaches the doorway and finds nothing there, but something is listening to him. If there's anything here, I just command you to shut the door. A moment later, this happens. Oh my Let me out. That's the end, and I believe he's been stuck in this liminal space for the last decade. Number 11, Spirit. YouTuber Han Kardashler confronts a spirit in this scary video. He and his team see something walking the road of this village in the darkness. They don't get near enough to catch it but they see it again from the second story of a building. What it's doing in the darkness is anyone's guess. They soon see it again though, this time closer. It disappears from its post and reappears at the far side of the road. What is this being? Is it a spirit? Or something even more sinister. It seems like a spirit to me, but I'd be wary of its magic tricks. Number 10, Steamboat Warehouse. While in Washington, Louisiana, YouTube crew The G Team Paranormal investigated a 200 year old steamboat warehouse that's purported to be haunted. Let's see what they found. Right away, the spirits there set the crew's mind at ease. <laughs> and they're insistent that they're there. Very insistent. The team is trying to communicate with a spirit named Jack. Cece saw you when we got here. That EVP wasn't as clear to me as the others, but when they turn off the spirit box and search the bar area, they hear another disembodied whisper. It does sound like someone told her to hurry. She continues her tour of the haunted place, and while walking past a glass door, she sees this. You can see the apparitions pretty clearly, and it's not apparent that anything around her is reflected in the glass. 
As she turns, you don't see any objects that might explain things. The only logical explanation I can come up with is that parts of the glass may be fogged over from the cold. Coupled with the spirit box communications and the EVP, I definitely think this warrants further investigation. Number 9. Bishton Hall Located in the UK, Bishton Hall is one of the most haunted places in the country. YouTuber Ghost Shift UK explores these hallowed halls in this scary video, and they quickly get a reading on their paranormal devices. Whoa! Hello! Whoa! That is completely mental. When he asks the spirits to trigger the K2, they comply. Can you just make that K2 red? Can you do that again, please? Make it go to red. Wow. That's proper max now. Then, out of nowhere, the spirit shares its name through the spirit box. Jesus. Jesus. Gerald. Okay. Even the ambient noises in the cellar sound haunting. He then hears a voice, which he describes as a shout. I'm just a, someone's just shouted something. And then he hears this strange noise. That's freaked me out, lot. I'm convinced. It might have been Ghost Jubap. When he returns to the room to check out the ghost tube device, he captures these EVPs. He heads upstairs to set up his devices in the headmaster's room, where they immediately detect activity. Creeps really bad. Thank you. Thank you very much. Who's that then? Clearly, the headmaster is here. Max Nart, that is, big time. Thank you, can you stop, can you? Can you stop for me? Please? Stop. Thank you. Although we don't see any paranormal activity, we do hear a lot throughout this investigation. Ghost Shift UK calls Bishton Hall the most haunted place he's ever explored. It does appear to me to have significance in multiple energies, but I can't tell whether they're good or evil. Number 8. Wild Boar Hotel The Wild Boar Hotel is located in the middle of nowhere, and the YouTube team The Ouija Brothers are traveling there to investigate. Outside, one of their camera lights immediately starts acting up. <laughs> When they break out the K2 inside, they quickly get a response. If you can hear me, can you stop and walk away from the device in the middle of the room? Top names, Max, you know? It's a song. This continues until they turn the device off. Later, they hear a light tap. So you? And then a not so light one. We can call the finish if you want. Did you touch that bar then? I did not. There's something I did hear. There. I did hear that. Though. I thought that was you. They ask the spirit a question, and it seems to respond. Do you like the sound of my voice? Oh. If so, can you knock? Either this old abandoned hotel is extra creaky, or there's something walking the halls here. I wouldn't want to stick around to find out which it is. Number 7. Ancient Ram Inn The Ancient Ram Inn in England's Watton Under Edge is infamous for its devil worship and ritual sacrifice. YouTube team Ghost Raiders dives in to see if they can uncover any of this residual dark magic. Using paranormal devices, they try and get the spirits to communicate with them. You make the K2 reader go off. Oh. Cat ball, got a cat ball. We've got a cat ball going off. 
The spirit seems to be playing around. In another stony room of the inn, there appears to be a demon face escaping the stone. There. There is a face, or what looks like a face, but it is just obviously how the bricks and soot, I would imagine, have sutted up the wall. But yeah, it does look like a face. It makes you wonder how such a face formed. Later, while using the Estes method, Holly feels unsettled. Feel on the mask. Like pressure around my, that physically being moved. During a ritual ceremony to free her from her demon, she becomes overwhelmed with emotion. Oh, Jesus, here she goes. It's a lot of spirituality. It seems to me that a spirit somehow entered Holly through the Estes method, only to be released through this ritual, and the feeling and release of the incident looks incredibly painful. Number 6. Townsend Cemetery YouTube team Greg and Heather's Explorations returns to the Townsend Cemetery, where they once held hands with a spirit. Will he hold their hand again? They begin with an EVP session. A sneak peek of her EVP I session. Oh my god. You remember me from last time? As they're examining the grave of a Confederate soldier, they hear a distant sound. He was like a Confederate soldier. Something. He was a, a, a high up in the ranks. But what is that noise? You hear that? What is it? Oh, yeah. They then discover what that sound is. What is that? The water zone. Wait. Whoa. That Wait was not just so No. Oh my God. You've been saying that you felt like somebody was over yes. here messing with you. Is someone pranking them? And is the prankster living or a spirit? When they turn their ghost tube app on, they see figures all over the place. Hello? Oh, oh wow, look, right there. He's right in front of you. Wow. Hi. We see you. Was that you that just set this meter off? And later, they try to convince the spirit to hold hands again, this time with Patty. Where did you go? Oh, there you are. Can you do that again? Yep, he's right next to you, to the left of you, yeah. Can you reach out and touch her hand? like you? But the spirit is reluctant. Heather believes the spirit is a child since it's down low. I tend to agree. That might also suggest its hesitancy to reach out, and it might explain the trickery with the faucet being turned on. This child ghost is playing games. Number 5. Abandoned Restaurant Chris from YouTube channel Sees Crazy Crossroads is sent packing from this abandoned restaurant. He first hears a strange noise in the kitchen. Sounds like... He believes it could be residual noise from passing vehicles on the road. It almost sounds like a beehive swarming to me, but then he hears what he thinks sounds like voices. Is I, I want to say that it's, it's, it sounds like a couple of different voices. I'm not catching that, but I do hear the road noise which is an eerie wail. He hears the sound again. The phonic app's not working. I, I hope you guys are pick I hope this is picking that up. I mean, that's clear as day. Well, I'm not sure the mic is capturing what he's hearing. It does capture this next voice, and it's pure evil.
I don't blame Chris for leaving at this point. If I heard that, I'd be out of there too. Number four, Harmon Road, YouTube team, The Haunted Side, Paranormal Investigation, suspending the night at this place at Harmon Road. I can't say exactly what went on in this building, but let's just say men would pay to be with the women who worked there. Before long, one of their REM pods goes off. Yeah, so it's been a minute. Did you hear that? There's a REM pod. Did you hear it? I heard a thump. No, 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 that was me walking on this, but I heard the REM pod go off. They continue their search and meet an unwanted guest. Could you? Whoa, Ooh. no, 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 no. Did you see that, dude? I did. I was a, oh, oh, oh no. <laughs> it's a bat. As they're trying to communicate through paranormal devices, they hear a sound in the building. Look at that, look at that. Is that you? I'm not close enough. No. And it'd still be going off if that was yeah. me. A moment later, a bang is heard. But it's not necessarily that the words are making sense. Heard. I heard that, bro. Did you hear that? And then another. <gasps> I know you heard that, bro. In another hallway, they hear what sounds like talking. I heard some something. The spirit seems to want them to stay. Do you want us to stay? Whoa. Did you hear that? That was really nice. I swear to God, it sounded like something, something came right, like walked up. When they knock, the spirit knocks back. Can you make a noise like this? <laughs> Did you hear that? It was like almost immediate, yes. bro. It was like, gung gung. And then they hear this unnerving moan. <laughs> oh, what the? I heard a breath before that. Did you hear the breath before that? I know you heard that, dude. It was like. <sighs> In another room, one of their paranormal devices goes off. Can you step away? See, that wouldn't. They keep hearing these mysterious noises. What the? I heard a whistle. And yeah. then I heard something in there go like, Goom. That's exactly what I heard was the whistle part. And their devices continue to be triggered. I forgot the, ooh. Okay. Also got the SLS camera, or sorry, the. I think there are too many creepy unexplained noises in this building to suggest anything but paranormal activity. I also propose that this channel consider renaming this video to did you hear that, bro? Did you hear that, bro? That was loud. Number three, haunted Victorian morgue. While investigating an old morgue and Victorian warehouse in the UK, YouTube team CVS Paranormal immediately sees some activity. It begins with the cat ball. Touch it again, can you touch it? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> We're having quite a lot of luck already. Stop. Can you stop? Stand back. Can you touch it again? In another room, they hear a creaking noise. <gasps> Ooh. <laughs> that was that coming from up, up here. Yeah, a creaking noise up there. That was coming from up here. Shortly after, a lady's whisper is heard. Did anybody else just hear that? No, I, I, I heard a voice. And then footsteps. There's something walking up there. In another instance, they hear a strange strangled noise. I just heard... I just heard something. And later, a thump is heard. I can definitely hear something. I just heard the thump. Yeah, yeah. Yes! Yeah. There seems to be low distant voices regularly throughout the visit. And there's voices. There's definite voices. Here they are again. I can, I can hear, I can hear talking. It's not uh, definitely more than one person. And then a loud tap is heard. Like there's something come in. That was a, a tap. No, that was more. Than when they ask the spirit to come closer, they hear distinct footsteps. Can you come in now? I can hear it. 
Can you come closer? Can you hear me? Who is coming toward him? At this rate, I think it can be any number of ghost spirits that haunt this former morgue. Number 2. Skinwalker Village While hunting for skinwalkers in Skinwalker Village, things start to go horribly wrong for YouTuber Hype Mike and his crew. First, they smell something rancid, and they soon find out what it is. Dude, what is that smell? smell. <coughs> you smell that? It's like rotting flesh or something. Run, 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 go, run, go, run, go, run, go, 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 what the this way, this way. After coming upon the Skinwalker feasting, they take shelter in an outbuilding, but something is waiting outside for them in the darkness. Get the hell out of here. Oh. Who's that? Hello? Who's that? Hello? What's this? What's this? Go, 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 go. Be careful. Will they make it out alive? If they do, it'll be a close call, but you'll have to watch the full video to find out. I've got a challenge for you. Since you've made it this far, why not like this video and hit subscribe in the next 5 seconds? Because I upload 4 new scary videos every week. If you're curious about what I look like in real life, then go to my Instagram at DylanIsChillinYT and tap that follow button to find out. Number 1. Most Haunted Castle This ghost wants to be a cameraman. YouTube team Dorset Ghost Mysteries captured this paranormal activity while on an overnight ghost hunt. Thank you. Thank you for those words. Have you got any more words to tell us? What All the right. heck happened there, Glenn? Glenn? Yeah. What could possibly be messing with their camera like this? Are we seeing the haunted castle live up to its reputation? I think that's the case, but there's no way to be 100% sure without more evidence. But I do know one thing, what they've captured already is terrifyingly creepy. After watching thousands of videos, some may easily slip your mind, but these 30 scary videos aren't easy to forget.